Good morning to everybody. I'm Aurora Ecrego. I'm with Jesus Angel Andres, Jorge Carlo, Miguel Angel Sánchez, a student from Facultad de Ciencias from Universidad de Salamanca. I'm with Javier Iglesias, Maria Jesus Santos, and Alejandro Medina, a teacher from this university. We are going to present our project, Development and Utilization of Video Clips as Didactic Resources for an, for an Experimental Study. So, through this presentation, we are going to explain some actions, some actions developed in a teaching innovation program during the academic year 2013-2014. <clears throat> the second year's student of Thermodynamics Laboratory course uh, recorded some video clips explaining um, lab experiments in order to help future students to understand the theoretical lectures given by the teacher. So in this presentation we are we'll start making an introduction, then we'll talk about previous experiences, uh, the methodology and the results of the project, and finally conclusion and acknowledgement. So let's talk about thermodynamics laboratory course. First of all, the teachers give to the students the theoretical lectures to understand the lab experiences. Then, oh, sorry, then it, in groups or three or, or uh, in groups or two or three students, we perform that practical experiences related with thermodynamics, like temperature measuring, heat balance, phase transition, or equation of the state. Also, the students, guided by the teachers, uh, with all that measure, we write a short report of each practical experiences that will that we form a lab notebook which represents the 65% of the final mark. But in the end, the students are also required to pass a written exam made of short questions that represent the 55% of the final mark. And now Miguel Angel will continue explaining. The fact that motivates this project is that, especially at the starting of each practical session, the teacher has to deal with several explanations to different groups and different experiences. To avoid unnecessary delays, the teacher suggests in this work the use of video clips explaining the details. In, in addition, these video clips are a powerful tool to improve the learning of the student at university level. Why is this a good solution? We have two points of view. From the point of view of the teacher, to have these video clips at the lab allows them to spend more time helping the student, instead of helping too much time to repeat all the, all the experiments to different groups. And from the point of view of the students, to collaborate in these video clips increase their participation in class and their motivation. The Teaching Innovation Group has previous experiences in different degrees in our university that were evaluated in a survey filled up by senior students from Graden Ingeniería Química. As we can see in the plot, the results are good. Uh, in the plot we can see the x-axis represented the different questions and the y-axis represents the percentage of agreement or disagreement. The possible answer goes from one total disagreement to five complete agreement. And for example, in the question the video helps to make early practice, we have almost 90% of the student uh, agree. And now, well, if you don't mind, I will the project was developed with the help of active voluntary students of thermodynamics laboratory course in the physics degree 1314. Um, well, uh, five lab experiences from our lab were elected and formed five students' groups, which were always supervised by our teachers. The, the lab experiences were calibration of thermocouples. The photograph uh, shows the material we use, constant moving gas thermometer, calculation of specific heat of liquids, impure calibration of state for ideal gases, and liquid vapor phase transition and critical point. Well, uh, now I'm going to explain the steps that we followed. Firstly, a breath script was quite to students for its experience. 
and uh, our presentation was about for each video. Then the recording time. Uh, we recorded the videos at the facilities of production and innovation of University of Salamanca. And only a few weeks later, maybe one or two weeks later, we've got the videos available in iTunes. Then, uh, in order to obtain a feedback, teachers design a brief survey test, and the results of the survey uh, will be shown later by my classmate. But now, I'm going to talk about the structure of video clips. All the video clips have the same structure, starting with the title and the authors, the objectives with the main purposes, the material required to develop the experience, the theoretical basis, definitions, hypotheses, the practical implementation and calculations, including the terror estimation, the description of the experiment, and the bibliographic resources used by our teachers' team to develop experience. Um, please. Okay, uh, so uh, next we are going to summarize the results of the evaluation process. Um, so we can see here again that the questions go from, the answers to the questions go from one, which means total disagreement, to four, which is complete agreement. And so let's look, for example, uh, at this question. The project helped me to improve my learning of the subject matter. And we can see here that almost 100% of the students agreed with, with this statement. And we also look at the last question. I believe that this activity will be positive for other classes and other uh, levels in my grade studies. All the answers we can see uh, were satisfied. So uh, we can say that uh, the, the development of this project is globally positive and that the initial objectives are achieved. So uh, now these are the conclusions. First of all, as we mentioned before, uh, from the point of view of the teachers, to have these video clips at the lab allows them to spend more time helping and advising the students to develop their experimental skills instead of spending too much time um, repeating the same to all the students' groups in the lab. And on the other hand, from the viewpoint of the students, to collaborate with the teachers in the elaboration of this project uh, contributes to increase their participation in the class, improves their motivation, and promotes their skills in relationship with the state of the art uh, information and communication technology. At the Production and Digital Innovation Service Center from University of Salamanca, we recorded the video clips that are available in the in Laboratorio Thermodinamica, in iTunes U platform, and they can be watched online or even if you want, uh, download it. And so finally, we encourage you to visit uh, the iTunes U platform and watch our video clips. We hope you really enjoy them. <laughs>